It's about the truth of love. We take the opportunity to be in service that that which is filling the cup has a chance to get out into human consciousness. That we get to speak truth and love into the world and do it together. We're talking about powerful, energetic reality and it is the invitation to let the consciousness of that is in human, the human experience that has separated itself from the reality of what we serve have a chance to be penetrated and come back home. Do I have the audacity to be humble? To be a subject to what I love most? You know, we speak of the king and queen, mother and father God, can I be a servant and be a, a subject in that kingdom and bring the spirit which is mine in communion with theirs? Can I bold, be bold enough to say I will serve, humble enough to serve, humble enough and smart enough to know that's what I want to do and to be the one delivering the spirit of the Christ through my living? It's really Im important for me, which I probably say repeatedly, to stay in my integrity and allow that to happen. To admit when I haven't, but to know the power and the joy. It's not just about the discipline. Discipline is something a lot of people are anti or against. I don't want anybody telling me what to do. <laughs> That's not what discipline's about. Discipline is about I will love what is most important and I will always love what is most important and I will bring what is most important. The discipline, my own discipline, to myself, to stop stealing my substance from myself, from the truth of my being, and giving it away as if it belongs to um, this earthly reality when it does not. Can I have the audacity, the temerity to be who I am designed to be in a world that is not only said it doesn't really matter, but I really think this is better. <laughs> I really think if you manipulate things just right, you can have a better experience. But who of us has the audacity to say, I am capable and I will? There is an, an audacity, a temerity, is a word I learned this morning, to allow yourself to be that cup, to know you are not only capable of it, you are designed for it, and it is your greatest thrill to do it. To be in the position to serve that which is vibrationally invisible but accurate of your being, the coming forth of my angelic being is my job. The revelation of the mother and father in union in me is my privilege, my responsibility, and my invitation. Will you do this with me? So that we can be a substantial container filled with the reality of what is coming down and be the living grace that bathes this earth as the true comforter.